Hello everyone, Only Draven here again, and today we're doing another tutorial in Minecraft Sky Factory 4. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to make and use the Animal Rancher, which is a block that will automatically milk cows or shear sheep for you. Uh, a great little block for both of those processes that are very easy to put together and can be very, very beneficial. Now, if you find this video helpful and you like it, please be sure to click like. But most importantly, please remember to hit that subscribe button so that way you can see all my videos and tutorials as they come out. All right. So, the Animal Rancher is pretty easy to make. You're going to use three pieces of plastic, two shears, a bucket, two golden gear, and one machine case. Okay? Now, the Animal Rancher does require a power source. Any RF power source will work. I'm using a creative energy battery, you can see here. But you can connect it to any type of reactor or generator or solar that you would like, as long as it's getting RF power. To connect it, we're going to use an energy extraction cable from Cyclic. We're going to use the Animal Rancher itself, some oak fences, then we're going to use some sheep and cow eggs so we can show you how those work. Okay? Now, the first thing to be aware of is when you place your animal rancher down, it actually faces away from you. That's the front of it, so it faces away. So if I want it to face that direction, I have to do it away from it so it faces the way that I want. Now, we're going to go ahead and connect that to our power source correctly. <laughs> and then, as you can see inside, it has power. Now, the great thing about this block is you don't have to do anything setting up-wise to make it work. You literally just have to turn it on. I put a little fence here. This is just going to be temporary. And I'm going to drop a sheep directly in front of this. Now, if you watch, something's going to happen automatically. And you see the sheep has already been sheared. If we look inside this block, you can see it's got two black wool in it. He's making a break for it because I didn't build a big fence. But when the, sh when the uh, wool grows back, it would then shear it again. And will continue to do that as long as there is storage space for that. Let's uh, get rid of him for a minute. Hey! And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to th toss a cow in there. Same thing. Now, if you look inside, there's a tank. It is milking the cow, and it's going to do that continuously until this uh, fluid tank fills. Now, you can, if you want, let me throw that on there so he doesn't go anywhere. If you'd like to, you can uh, connect a fluid cable to this animal rancher and have it going into a tank or a lar larger fluid storage area, uh, such as a black hole tank or just any of the regular tanks. Uh, you can also put an item extractor cable on this, leading to a chest or storage unit of your choice to pull any of the wool that's in there. So this will automatically shear any sheep and milk any cows in range. Now, in range means, right now, the block directly in front of it. But let's go ahead and see what we can do to exchange that. Yee! So let's say we're going to use a little bit more room here, okay? We're going to go ahead and make this bigger. Give ourselves a little bit more room for animals, okay? Now, as I said, you may want to attach different containers to this. So just on a whim, let's go ahead and grab ourselves a fluid cable. Uh, let's see, fluid extraction cable. And we'll just grab ourselves a tank of some type. Uh, we'll just use a regular basic fluid tank, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and drop that there and a tank on top. So it pulled all of the milk that was in this tank up inside of it. Now, if I'd used an item extraction cable and a chest, it would have done the same thing with the wool. So as we said a moment ago, this one block is its range right now. But luckily, this is an industrial foregoing uh, block, which means you can use any of the industrial foregoing range add-ons to expand how much room that is, going from uh, down number one, which increases it by one block, all the way up to a range 12 add-on, which is an uh, emerald one. And all of these are really easy to make, just uses that material, some glass and some plastic. Uh, so let's just say we'll grab the biggest one, a range add-on plus 12, okay? That real quick. Two, range add-on plus 12. So we can place that inside this slot here, and now it's going to go 12 by 12, and it's going to gather uh, milk from any cows or any uh, wool from any sheep. So let's drop a couple in there. Cow, cow, sheep, sheep. So as you can see, both of the sheep are sheared. 
It's milking both the cows up until the point that the tank and the internal tank are full. By the bigger tank, it's like a, a black hole tank. This would just go on for almost forever. Um, and then for wool, it's going to continue to shear those as its uh, wool grows back. You can continue to do that as well. So uh, it's a great block for automating those two processes. If you really don't want to mess with uh, shearing sheep yourself, or you'd like to have a large amount of milk, I mean, you do a lot of cooking, or for whatever case, um, this is a great way to get those two products automated with very, very little work. So the Animal Rancher, phenomenal little block for those two things. Highly, mm -hmm. highly recommend it. But that is going to do us for this tutorial. Uh, if you have any questions mm -hmm. about this video or any of my videos, please be sure to put that down in the comments, and I'll do my very best to get back with you as quickly as I possibly can, mm -hmm. as well as any um, suggestions or recommendations you may have for other tutorials you'd like to see in Sky Factory 4. I'm always looking for new ideas. Uh, you can also join me on stream uh, every week here on YouTube. Uh, jump on in. I stream Minecraft every week, normally Sundays and Mondays, but sometimes occasionally as well. Jump on in. You have any questions, and I'm happy to answer them in real time. Or you can, like I said, put them down in the description. Or you can go to my website, onlydraven.com, and you can send me a message at the bottom of the homepage. Email me, and I'll do my best to get back with you as quickly as I can. I also stream over on my Twitch channel, Only Draven Gaming, there as well. Feel free to pop in. I'm usually happy to answer any Minecraft questions, even if I'm not playing Minecraft. But that is going to do us for today. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.